Hello everybody and thank you for coming back to the channel and to this series of converting the Willows Hurricane to RC. Now, I was going to say that the fact that I've done this before does make it any easier, but it's not true. It does make it easier, but what I'm going to be doing on this chapter is uh, putting in the electronic guts into the plane. Um, I've got this I'm going to say a test ESC that I've been using to be able to make sure that, uh, that all the pieces fit. And uh, one of the challenges, I don't know the challenge, one of the many challenges is that all the pieces need to fit in kind of at the same time, right? So I've got the, a good ESC that ha does work, I have tested it and I want to keep it in the, in the bag as long as I can. That I'm going to need to glue in here. And the challenge is going to be to stick on this former, what I've done with the former, I don't know if you can see it because I did break it I think on two spots, I put some reinforcements. So some reinforcement there, some thin strips to make sure that it's strong enough. And this will come when the real ESC is, that will have to go in here. And it kind of fits last time I tested it, which was a couple of days ago, but it does kind of fit. Now, if I, if I show you then the next problem that I'm going to need to overcome, it's going to be, no, it doesn't fit. But what it's, what the, the challenge that I have now is that then the, the plug the socket plug for the servo that's going to control the ailerons it's in a very awkward position so I have made this hole as big as I possibly could because I don't want to put in the servo right yet because to put in the servo I need to still build it into the bottom of the wing the servo will be sticking out from the bottom of the wing with one, uh, one X hole I don't know how they call it these what are they called here? kind of the, this cross one cross horn or whatever it is, I'm not sure, the lever, uh, so that can, one server can control both ailerons. So um, the steps that I'm going to do is first of all put in the ESC, start to build it in, I'm going then to have to figure out how how I'm going to put in the push rods that are going to control the, the tail surfaces, so that's uh, another challenge for which I might need also to do the modification to the tail surfaces first and I'm also going to need the motor because the motor needs to go in first the motor I need to go I need to solder it in which I'm not good at it but I will be doing the soldering so that's going to go in then uh, the gearbox which is here that I'm going to put in at the end because I think I can plug the motor in there even afterwards uh, the motor will go in somewhere here I'm going to have to turn the plan around also to make sure that it's all in line so it's it's a lot of different things and it's important the order and uh, and to figure it out right so now i'm thinking maybe better adapt the the tail surfaces movement the movement for the elevator and the rudder solder step two will be to solder the motor in step three will be to glue the esc and the other former step four will probably be putting the other formers step five will be to make the holes at the right altitude or right height not altitude for the control horns on the ESC to move the tail surfaces and then at some point and that might be then another chapter it's going to be building in the server into the wing so the server into the wing I'm going to leave for the end but there are plenty of other small diff small things details that need to be done kind of at the same time but they interfere with each other right so it's that's a challenge so um, let's see how that goes I'll start to do I start to do the preparations. I'll turn the plan around. I think I'll do that right away that I see what I'm going to be doing. And uh, let me update you when I have something to update you with. Time for an update. There's some progress as I hope you can see. Uh, maybe some detail, a little small detail that maybe you can see here. I made a hole in the fuselage format to pass the cables through it. But the biggest or the most difficult or challenging for me was to actually to solder on the motor. So the motor is soldered on. I, I then need also a test because it needs to be well connected so that the electricity goes through well. So it did turn and I hope it was in the right direction because not it's going to be awkward. And, um, and basically that's sitting in there. What else have I done? I've put in also the other formers and building up the fuselage. And this is the, the, the tail plane is in place but it's not glued. Because what I'm doing now, what the next steps will be, is I'm going to take a wire, you can't see it because maybe it's too thin, and I'm going to start to make holes through the formers 
and connect onto the servers that are integrated on the ESC, put there the horns. And like that, I'm going to have the control rods that will go back one for the elevator and then one for the rudder, of course. So that's that's the next steps. And then hopefully also to set up the engine mount, to build up the engine mount also, and uh, maybe even to start to put some of the stringers. The challenge that I mentioned before, I can't put in this side until I connect in the, the server. So for that, I'm going to have to work with the wing and build in the server there under the wing. And another thing that also has to be done is the, the battery compartment. It fits but very, very tightly. So I'm going to probably have to cut, let's see if I don't drop anything, I'm going to have to cut into the wing so that the battery can go in deeper. And uh, I'm going to have to build in the, the battery hatch. On the Spitfire, I had just, let's say, a quarter of the fuselage was the battery hatch and it's very, very messy. So I'm thinking now of doing a battery hatch that's actually the whole upper part of the fuselage. It might lose some strength, but hopefully with the rest of the pieces in place it'll be it'll be strong enough to hold especially in case of crashes so some progress some big progress especially with the soldering because i'm not too comfortable with that yet um there's still a lot to go so let's see how it goes a busy evening awaits me and here i am with an update so what i've done i've put together this former which is actually kind of the the firewall that goes at the front of the fuselage um, everything else is connected. I've uh, I've put in the push rods and they seem to be working. Maybe I'll show you them later. I'll connect it up and I'll show you that they, they do work. Both move backwards and forwards. And what I'm working on now is on the gearbox. So I've made these blocks. They are not glued on yet, to, but I built the blocks to hold the gearbox. In there the motor will go and then I'll glue this to this first former somehow in the middle and uh, and then once i have this in place i'll put it all at the front of the fuselage and then i believe i'll be ready for actually an engine run up then i'll do the connection the i put in the prop holder and the propeller and i can maybe do a, an engine run up and uh, that will hopefully be it for for this part there's still some electronics to go which is the the connection of the server for the wing that I still have to do and then another thing that I'm also I've also started to do I'm working on the battery hatch so that's in progress but it's not electronics related so some progress which is good and then hopefully in the next few days or maybe hours hopefully I'll be able to glue this on and then show you the, the engine run up so getting close to the end of the video just hold out one more minute I'm back so I've put in the motor the motor is going into the gearbox and I've glued it in. I've also tried to put on the cowling and I found out that uh, the blocks that I built are too big so I had to shave them down. I don't know if you can see it. I had to somehow like carve them down and now the cowling kind of fits. I think it's maybe sticking out a little bit too much but uh, but I think it's going to be okay. I prefer that it clears the, the cowling well enough and uh, I'm also thinking about where would I put in some weight if needed right so so that's, uh, that would be the cowling in there and uh, let me, let's see if I can, I can't fix it, I have to figure out a way of, of kind of fixing it in there, maybe, I don't know if, maybe some, I don't know if a spot of glue maybe or, oh maybe there, it's it in there, good. Um, then I'm going to find the propeller, propeller, a bit dirty, it was from one of the flights that I did recently, I'll pop it on. It does look a bit like too far away, right? Like, mm. but I think it's going to be okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and power up my radio master that I have here. Welcome to OpenTX. And uh, you get some warnings. And I'm going to plug in the battery. Now I have tested this to see if the servos work. But I have not yet tested the motor. I'm always very careful what way up I put this. So, I don't know if you can hear it, but the, the gyros are kind of active. So, let's see if you can see something in terms of the rods moving. The elevator rod moves, not much, but it moves a bit. And uh, the rudder rod is also moving. Again, could be better probably, 
but it's moving. And now for the engine, let's see if it turns the right way. Yeah, not turning. Like not turning at all. Hmm. This is connected, so I don't know what's wrong with the motor. I'm checking if the cables are in, I haven't torn them out yet. It did work when I did it without anything on, but now it's not working. Oh, now it started up somehow. Maybe it was somehow a bit stuck. Now it did start up and I don't know why. So it did move actually. Okay, and it's turning the right way. Yeah, the cowling falls off, so I have to figure out how to do it there. But it seems to be working. So that's set. So I'm going to call it a day for this. So electronics are in. It's kind of probably the most complicated part of this, other than flying it and getting it to fly. But from the build, it's probably the most complicated part. And uh, still the server to go in, as I was mentioning earlier. And then the next part, I think it's going to be a fun part because it's going to be working with the wing and also building in the stringers of the fuselage because it's all unbuilt from one side. From this side, I'm going to have to leave it empty, but this one will go on. But uh, so far, progressing. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. In any case, thank you everybody for watching and for following along. And I'll see you next time with some progress, I hope.